Hello and welcome to the Skillet video tutorial where we are going to install and get started with Panhandler, our Skillet player. Best place to start is the Palo Alto Networks live community, the Skillet district page. And within there, we do have how to's, including a quick start guide for Panhandler. Let's go into there. A couple things that we get started. One, we do have additional documentation at panhandler.readthedocs.io. So check that out if you need more information than what you see in the quick start guide. And also there is a prerequisite, primarily Docker. This is a Docker based application. So you do need a Docker environment to install into. On my Mac here, I'm using Docker desktop. So just check that out based on the platform that you're running Panhandler on. To do the actual installation of Panhandler, it's just one step. It's this curl command. Curl command is gonna go out, it's gonna get that Docker image, it's gonna install it, uh, download it, and install it onto your local machine. And it's gonna assign a web port because Panhandler uses just a simple web interface. The message down here when it's done includes, in my case, it's port 8080. And I'm gonna paste that in. And this is gonna ask you to log in. The install guide has that default username password, which is Palo Alto and Panhandler. Again, you can go through the documentation if you'd wanna change that away from the defaults. So I'm gonna log in here and that's it. We've installed it, we're good. The only other thing around the installation process, just to see here, there is a version number. And this is the most recent version. If you happen to see after time that this changes where it's not the most recent version, just run that curl command again. It'll go out, download the newest, latest container and get that running on your machine. That's pretty much it for the installation. So at this point, if that's all you wanna know, feel free to take off, go do something else. Right now though, however, we are going to actually use skillets. We're gonna import them and use Panhandler. A couple of things here, really two stages. One is importing the skillet. That's gonna come from GitHub. So we would need a GitHub URL. Uh, that's where we, the skillets live, where we archive them. And then we would play them based on collection information. So let's start with importing. Now, when you go into imports, you will see a rotating uh, view here, some things that are recommended skillets you can install. However, in this case, I'm just gonna do a manual installation of something. What is that going to be? Recommendation here is great starting place again is the skillet district. And this is where we catalog our community and personal skillets that our skillet builders have contributed. And you can go through here and you'll see different kinds of skillets. And for the sake of this tutorial, let's just grab one like IP set. I'm gonna bring that in. Not gonna get into the details of IP sec, but really just show you the three things I care about here uh, on this article that I need for Panhandler. One is that GitHub location. That's the GitHub URL. That's where this GitHub uh, skillet lives, the repo lives that I'm gonna import it in. The other are the branches. In this case, it's just the default master. You may see other branches based on uh, different software releases. And then the collection. In this case, it's just IP sec. That's just where the skillet builder has decided or how they want to present and group the skillets that they've created. If I go back into Panhandler, that URL that I uh, copied over, I'm going to paste that in. And that's just going to tell it where this skillet lives so we can go get it. I'm going to give it a name. Arbitrary name is fine, just something you remember. I'm going to submit that. And we just imported it successfully and you can see it right there. This actually is the skillet repositories page. Just a quick note on this. Um, and we'll go into the detail. What you're gonna see here, the, the main things of importance from a quick start is, are the branch. Uh, it's gonna take me to the bottom of the page. Like I said, if you had different branches, you might need to change that uh, to a different software release or um, whatever, however the builder has grouped these branches. And then also is this update to latest button. Uh, you may find that over time skillets change. We've changed the, they've changed the configurations of the skillet. And this is just a quick way you would update that to get the latest. So that's it for importing and the repo side of the skillets. Now let's go play that skillet. Uh, in this case, I've got a firewall. I don't have any IP sec. So what I want to do is get that IP sec configuration in uh, based on what I learned here from my article. Let me go back into Panhandler. So let me go back into the collections page. And remember that collection was IP sec in this case that I want to work with IP sec. I'm going to go in there and there happen to be two skillets, one to load default Ike crypto profiles and one for the tunnel. I'm just going to focus on the tunnel one here and you'll see there are different filters and how you can organize the data or search within Panhandler. So now that I'm in here, this is just a web form presented uh, based on what that uh, skillet builder did in terms of what variables they want to let you enter. So I could come in here and name my tunnel. I'm going to leave most of these as defaults. Uh, we'll just call it Scotch Oaf. Uh, I'm going to change my source address that is local to the firewall here. 
and Ethernet 1.2. And that would be the web form data that I would submit. <clears throat> now, the other thing is because this is an API, you have to know the IP address, the username, password, the credentials to get an API key. If you don't want to type that in all the time and you have a, a common system that you use, you can go to the right menu. There are environments. That's just an encrypted file that's stored on your local machine. Um, I've got a password here. Now, the first time you go in, it'll ask you to create a password for that encrypted file. So don't forget that. I'm going to type that in and you'll probably have a couple of uh, environments here for your first install. You can grab these, you can clone them, you can configure them. This gives you a chance to set IP addresses, usernames, passwords. And down here, you can go and edit and modify those. Once you have it where you want it, you load it. In this case, mine was called 90FW, and I know firewall is sitting here, and that's ready to go. And if I go back in to run that skillet again, come back in here, now you'll see that IP address and user information is already there. Just a handy trick, so you don't have to keep typing everything in. You also have choices on whether or not you want to commit and perform backup. This will vary based on the type of the skillet. Again, these are uh, this is a Panos configuration skillet, and that's what it's going to do. Now I'm just going to load that configuration over. As you see, it takes me back to the collection page. So I just ran that skillet. If I go into the firewall here and refresh the page, then what you'll see, what this, what this skillet happened to do was it loaded an Ike gateway, a tunnel interface, an IPsec tunnel, all of that, just kind of showing the value of the skillets and how I can create a lot of configuration very easily by using Panhandler. So quick review. We did the install with curl based on our uh, quick start guide. We logged into Panhandler. You'll see the default username password. We did an import of our IPsec skillet. And again, you can go into the community articles to find that uh, under the skillet district. And we refreshed the repo and we ran that skillet. So that's pretty much it. You're ready to go with Panhandler. You've installed it and you've run your first skillet.